All right, my friends, welcome to episode 268 of Prof and Dev Play PS5. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Lev, the professor at Prof Plays Games on Twitter. Over there is Anthony the Dev at Summer Speak. In case you're new, this is Prof and Dev Play Games. How you doing, man? Doing okay. Uh, it's the launch of a, ne- a new generation. Um, man, this is exciting, huh? Doesn't happen every one, every, that often. So. Yeah, the only one that I've been a part of at, at the very beginning was the Switch launch. PS4, I came in a year late, I think. It came out in 2013, and I jumped in 2014. Yeah, I bet this was the first one for you since what high school? Like other than the Switch? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Switch isn't a new generation. I had a, I would not call the Switch it's part. It's part of the year. last generation, right? I guess I'd think console launch Switch, but part of a new generation? No, not since N64. I guess. Yeah, With N64 Mario and PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. That that big leap forward. This is the first one I've been a part of. Wow. Yeah, I was very. <laughs> Um, and I'm glad to be a part of it. There was a, a moment where I didn't think I was getting mine. It <laughs> no, was yeah. out for delivery at 6.30 in the morning, and then it, at 2 p.m. it said four stops away, and then it just never came, and then it was lost in processing, and then I didn't get an update for 12 hours, and then it was out for delivery again, and then all day, nothing, and then my wife were eating dinner, and she says, I see a headlamp walking toward the house, and it was the UPS driver. So uh, I I'm... ripped it open just to sure everything was in there. So I am so confused one. by your shipping down there. And Dude, just yeah. UPS in general. I'm like, because you got a number of deliveries from UPS on Thursday. Got six. All different. <laughs> were they all different trucks? All different trucks, apparently. How the all different why? drivers. Why? Like, why wouldn't they I, just all date into one? Yeah, considering that's how. I mean, I get that things might be different for me or any everything, but even when I was in like the city proper, like it was all consolidated to one truck. <laughs> And it was like, hey, everything coming to your house just gets dropped off all at once. Yeah, I wonder because San Diego, I don't know, because Seattle's bigger than San Diego. I yeah. think so. Um, I don't know, man, but there were so many. I got Amiibo. I got the charging dock. I got my blue apron. I got uh, something else for my wife. It's just like every single time I'm like, oh, it's here. It, mm. <laughs> just like, and I was like, okay, this is going to get quote unquote lost, isn't it? Um, and then I logged on to Reddit, and it's just like tons of people having the same stories. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. But it came, and I ripped it open just to make sure it was in there. And my daughter was the first one to hold the controller, and that was fun. And then we played uh, Astro's Playroom together before yes. bedtime, or her bedtime. And she just, she's a fan of Astrobot now. Okay. <laughs> Wants stories about Astrobot. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, it's interesting about Astrobot. I think I was texting you, like the, the rating, ESRB rating for Astrobot is E10. And the, the rating for um, Sackboy is E for everyone. So it seems like Sackboy would be more appropriate for her. But actually, it seems like Astrobot is because you can avoid like the punching battling. You can just jump over them and like hit them with your light. And yeah. Kind of like the And I'm like, oh, he's just sending them home with his light. And it just like is totally fine. And she's not worried about the bat. You know, she's not trying to emulate the battling or whatever. Versus Sackboy, it looks like the main me- battle mechanic is punching. And there's not really another way to do it. At least that I've seen. Yeah, so I don't know what the difference is would be on a rating wise why it's e10 it's because i went when, when i dug into the esb esrb rating which is you know something i suggest parents do when instead of just looking at the rating um there's a multiplayer mode apparently where we shoot each other with guns so it seems like that, is that, that, that there you go and i was like well we don't have to do that we can avoid that and when i got to the section i don't know if you've gotten there yet nope where you pick like basically like a machine gun and shoot balls at enemies i just didn't shoot it i just held it used my light when i jumped over them so i was able to to move past all the building stuff so she, it didn't even like clock with her um huh. but she just liked the exploration and collecting coins so now she likes to jump around the house and collect coins <laughs> i've put the most time into astro's playroom and i'm working on the platinum but it's it's a really great game i don't know how far you got in that uh i got like an hour and then i was like i fucking hate platformers <laughs> oh no oh. i just i just don't like pl- honestly i don't like the motion control stuff Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I've never liked it's motion controls right. on anything, and then they have forced motion control areas, and I uh, hit some of that stuff, and I was like, I hate this. I hate this so much. Um, yeah, I need to kill some of them. Go back because I know those aren't the entire sections, and when it wasn't that, I was enjoying it. But yeah, uh, which one? Because you can just choose whichever one you want to go through. So I went into the, I think it was the SSD one, the Speedway, mm-hmm. and you have like the hang right. glider stuff, and I was like, I hate this. <laughs> Yeah, there's a hang lot. glider, there's a funky one, there's the ball, and then there's the um, frog suit jumping thing. No so one likes got... motion controls. No one. No, they're really annoying. It like slows it down. Uh, you know, it's tolerable because the other stuff's really good, but that stuff does suck. 
Um, yeah, and it's not, not, and I, it's not really just them. I just, I'm like, almost all games that have motion controls, it's just not that cool. The only thing about motion controls that are good, they've implemented it here because it was in Astros and maybe another game I can't remember, but it's basically like Breath of the Wild where you're aiming the bow and you can kind of correct a little bit by moving your controller. That's in that game, uh, so it's nice to see Sony bring that across. That's the only thing from motion controls that I would have done anything like positive. Yeah, Otherwise, like blowing into the mic and like moving the mm. controller up and down. Just a- yeah, um, I do want to play more. I saw, so I played like yeah, like an hour, and I was generally the quality of it was way higher than I was expecting uh, mm-hmm. overall. Like it was a really well put to game, and then I watched a a stream of someone doing the 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 GPU side mm-hmm. where they had the gpu song which was awesome that song is so good it is <laughs> so good and then you can find the lyrics in uh-huh. the, the level by breaking walls man that's that song is just stuck in my head gpu oh yeah. my god it's so good um but that game just looks like it can just in some ways uh sony's love letter to all the hardware that they've made um yes. or a victory lap depending on how you look at it <laughs> <laughs> the I think it's worth it to get through the four levels to play the final boss. Okay. Uh, which is, um, it's really good. It's really fun. And there's no motion. <laughs> it's a straight up yeah. boss battle that's really well done. Nice. It only, it's not that long though. It's a couple hours. No, it's, it, yeah, I finished it in maybe two and a half. Okay. And now I'm just going sweeping for the trophies. Um, so it'll probably take me another hour or two to do that. Nice. Yeah. I love it. It's just, it's such a great pack in to show what the controller does. The haptics are like, I know people are like just blown away. This is a next gen piece, and I think they're good. I don't think they're like they're different and well implemented. I don't think it's like game changing, but it does feel pretty cool. Uh, there's just, it's not all the time, but there are times. So I mean, Astro's Playroom, the it it was interesting in the haptics, and probably why I think they kind of push that next gen thing. You can close your eyes, like mute the game, close your eyes, which I did, and walk around on surfaces, and you mm-hmm. know what they are. Yeah. Like, it also does feel like the glass good. and the metal at the beginning feel mm-hmm. different when you're walking on them in Astro. Yeah, it would it feels different? Yeah, it all feels different. And the grass feels different, and you're just like so you can weirdly tell like what you're walking across even without sound or visuals, um, which is really they, impressive. Well, and the way they and the raindrops if you got to the raindrop part is no. really cool. Um, and the way they've married it to sound coming out of the speaker, like that's the one game that I want to play without headphones. Mm. The full experience is really immersive. Even like walking into the sand or the wind, I mean, um, the sandstorm, like it really makes you feel like you're kind of in it. Like it, it really helps with immersion. Yeah. Um, so it is impressive. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering, like playing Miles Morales or Demon Souls, like you can definitely tell they're using haptics. And then the adaptive triggers, of course, are also a, yes. know, on a different level. Um, the, the adaptive and, triggers are insane. Oh, dude, they're, that's the part of, I think, what that means. Gameplay board. You know, we keep talking about the bow and drawing the yeah. string or whatever, but it really does. The pressure on the, the triggers is a lot more immersive yeah i'm trying to think of where i because i stuck in um once i figured out how to get the ps5 version of no man's sky um because if you own the ps4 version uh you get a free I, it was like oh there's an upgrade to a ps5 and i didn't know if it, this is my own thing of being well how do you do this is it just the ps4 version running on the ps5 with special right. pack no uh it is a thing that Took me a while to figure out, but whenever you go to when I went to No Man's Sky and it's its landing page where I have the icon hovered, it's like down in the bottom right is a bigger thing saying, "Hey, free upgrade for PS5." Hmm, I wonder if and I it ins- and it in- and it installs a PS5 version of the game, and you can switch between the PS4 and PS5. You can select which one you want to be playing. Yeah, I've seen that on like Miles Morales and a couple other games. Valhalla I, does it I as well. Them. Okay, I wonder if I downloaded. So I downloaded like an update for No Man's Sky. I wonder if I just updated the PS4 update. Probably just the PS4. That's what I did because it was a brand new game install that I had. Okay. And like okay. I got an email from Sony saying, hey, here's your new purchase for zero dollars. But mm-hmm. No Man's Sky PS5 version. So okay. um, that tonight. because I was like, I don't know if this is really that different. And then I installed the PS5 version and, and played that. And it's uh, uh, quite a bit different visually. Um, there's, there's a like lot density. more. There's a lot more density draw um the uh draw distance is insane um and then it uses adaptive triggers so oh, there's all sorts of stuff like when you're la- launching a ship um and then when like you're starting to accelerate or having g forces taking you different ways the tr- the the thruster trigger has um tension to it um feels really cool 
yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, I guess I can tell if uh, my No Man's Sky is still um, running off of the external hard drive, then I know for sure it's a PS4 version. Yes. Um, and it's a brand, it's a completely brand new game. So none of right. their save games are there. It's although they did implement, you can launch the PS4 version and you can, there's a new option on the main menu that it says upload your PS. It's like upload PS4 save data. Right. You do that. And then you go into the PS5 version and it's download PS4 mm. save data into the PS5 version of the game, um, which gives you all the trophies that you've got because it's a new game and you ha- it has its own trophy list. It just pops them for you. Yep. <laughs> I love when games do that. I just popped every, tr- I was downloaded that data. I loaded one of my saved games on the PS five and just popped like 28 trophies. Um, nice. it was rent, but I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, it does yeah, make I me wonder to... if there's other games I could have that would do that. Yeah. Some do, some don't. Apparently Valhalla doesn't. They're two separate trophy lists. Um, they are separate trophy. Oh, like completely separate. Not the same trophies, just PS four version and PS five version. Exactly. So like Greg Miller, kind of funny, had played a ton of Valhalla and then whenever to do the, you know, when the PS5 version launched, loaded into it to bring the save over, but none of the trophies popped. Weird. Okay. So it's, apparently it's developer by, de- by developer how they did it. Hmm. Yeah, I've been playing Valhalla on my PC because I wanted to play it on PC because of the uncapped frame rate. But on high settings, like it was really jittery. It was like 60 sometimes and it was down to like 20 sometimes. So I was like, okay, I'll turn down to medium. And on medium, it's like between 35 and 55 oh, wow. like it's really you know i even if i cap it at 45 it still drops sometimes so i'm like all right i don't know what the, the graphical um equivalent is on ps5 but i know ps5 is a rock solid 60 so maybe i'll actually just play it on ps5 uh, i'm yeah. wondering why my, my my pc is so jittery like that uh hard to say yeah um yeah i haven't seen any huge benchmarks on the pc valhalla um but yeah i can confirm it's uh very rock solid on ps5 awesome um, yeah i might uh, wait and play it there. I have my save, you know, just it crosses over because Ubisoft. Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize it would do 4K at 60 on PS5. That's crazy. Oh, is, is it 4K 60? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to play on PS5 then. <laughs> I thought it was wow. 4K 30, 1080. I just put in uh, Valhalla PS5 frame rate and it's 60 FPS and yeah, running in 4K at 60 FPS. Well, okay. Is it, is it checkerboard? Is it native? Doesn't matter. It's the same. I mean, that's the thing about it. I, I don't. Uh, so both versions employ dynamic resolution adjustments to keep frame rate. The native resolution between, uh, God, I don't even know, by 1368. I don't know. 2880 by 1620. That's good, right? Yeah. It's everyone, they're just like, it looked really damn good. Um, and it runs at 60. Um, awesome. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait to get it there. I'm going to play through Astros and Miles before I get to Valhalla. Oh, interesting. The Series S will only do it at 30 FPS. Hmm. Which makes sense, since the Series S is less powerful. Right. Yep. Yeah, I got the S Xbox Series X. That also came to my PS5. <laughs> yeah. So I, and it I got to your bro- did it get to your brother before your PS5? No, because it's still in my living room. I went to oh. I looked at the UPS store hours for because it came Friday. I was going to send it Saturday. And the UPS store is open until five. Cool. So I went over there at two thirty, and it closed at two. I was like, well, oh. <laughs> so he no, it's um, but he's he will be very happy. And I don't need both of them right now. I barely have enough time for the PS5. So. Yeah. Uh, there's so many good games holy crap dude uh astros is fucking phenomenal yep sackboy is great miles Morales is really good um valhalla obviously is great demon souls is surprisingly a lot more engaging than i thought it would be besides looking fucking gorgeous there's just so much to play on ps5 it's crazy and then all your back to bat stuff right like i, I yeah. threw witcher 3 over onto the ssd just to see how it went um but i apparently didn't have my ps plus saves so i had to start all over so i don't wasn't able to like fast travel or whatever, so I don't really know how fast it is yet. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm trying to, to think. Things. I mean, I don't think the frame rate's going to be. Oh no. Well, what the, did they do a pro patch for Witcher Three? They did. So it will have whatever that is. And they're doing like I'm not going to play that game until they do the um, PS5 patch, which they said they're going to do next year. There you go. I just wanted to see what fast travel would be, but I couldn't. I can't do it yet, so I got to yeah. get my <laughs> save, save shit all figured out. Um. But I'm looking forward to doing Odyssey, finishing the DLC on Odyssey because those look so slow. Yes. <laughs> PS4 Pro. Yes. Um, but you're moving from a PS base PS4 right to a PS5. Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Uh, it, it definitely feels like a jump. That's for sure. Um, mostly because everything is just super responsive all the time, everywhere. Menus, games, uh, load times are quite a bit faster in every way. I mean, Valhalla yeah, is a big, big game, and fast travel is five seconds usually 
Yeah, I heard on the PS4 Pro it's like a minute and a half to load into the game from the yeah. beginning. I think um, this is shorter, but I it, I feel like it takes time just from a uh, uh, splash screen stuff going on. Like mm-hmm. it's not slow because the system is taking time. It's just the developers have put in their splash screens to make it like sit there before you hit a menu. But is it taking like a yeah. minute and a half before you see that stuff? On PS4 Pro, it was. Yeah, wow. PS5. Um, but that's from some podcast that person who had, you know, because they had codes early and they were playing it on PS4 Pro before the PS5 patch launched. So the comparisons yeah. they say it was just like startling. Yeah, it runs so smooth. Um, I made it to England and England is gorgeous in this game. Um, that's great. Norway, not as gorgeous, not as <laughs> kind of expected. It's gray and white. Um, there's some nice vistas, but. Uh, once you get to England and kind of climb up to tall things and get some of those synchronization points and just get like view out over everything, you're like, wow, this is really pretty, really, really yeah. pretty game. Um, it's so, stunning. Like playing on the PS, or, sorry, playing on the PC, the load times are like three seconds. It would just go. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, it's fast. I like the way it plays too. I li- I like the combat system. It feels. It took like me a while to get you. It. Took me a little bit to get used to it. Probably a couple hours. It is mm-hmm. not Odyssey's combat system at all. I had to I had to slow myself down. I wanted to go faster, and it, and it, it punishes you a lot for trying to like do combat fast with your stamina bar and dodging. So you have to be a lot more um, careful with it. Um, right. Once does I it, figured that out, I felt a lot better. With it. Does it feel less bloated in terms of like side quests and than content than Odyssey? Yes, and although at this point the side quests are weird because um, you see all these like. I don't think there is side quests like Odyssey had side quests, like big, epic, multi-part things. It's like you'll hit a side quest and it's like a five minute thing, just a little flavor for the world where the main story kind of involve involves these bigger side quests that okay. feed feedback to the main story going on. Um, right. So it's just it's constructed differently, um, which is fine. Uh, that's fine. So it has less bloat like that. There isn't uh, weapons and armors dropping all the time. You pretty much have a, a set collection and you're just choosing what is dropping all the time and you're finding is resources so you can choose what armors you want to upgrade and make better um, and weapons. Yeah, just using like Father's Axe like the whole game. Yeah, I don't see any reason you couldn't. Um, I used it for a lot and then I've just started experimenting with a number of other weapons and I really like the the one-handed hammer. Like, holy mm. shit, I love that thing. Um uh, yeah, and you stun them really easily. And when you stun them, uh, I have one of the early abilities you can get in, in the crazy ability tree, which is sprawling. Like, yeah, holy like shit. Sometimes, like, unwieldy. Uh, yeah, a little bit I could see. Although, I'm like, eh, I've played hundreds of hours of Path of Exile. This is nothing. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I can navigate this one pretty easily. Um but you can get stomped. So if you stun someone and knock them down, you can then do a massive attack against them. Um, and hammers do a ton of stun damage uh, to, you know, knock them down, people down constantly. That's so I'm, ab- I'm abusing that pretty heavily. So That's awesome. Yeah, uh, it, it's definitely a game I want to play so badly. I'm truly trying to wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have other things. Uh, uh, I've watched a couple streams, not a ton, because I don't want it too spoiled for me or anything, of Miles Morales. Dude, it's and fucking holy shit, does it look good? It, it it looks great. Like it is like the you know obviously the fidelity mode is fucking gorgeous. The ray tracing is unbelievable. But you can definitely tell the performance mode. Like now that I have that PC where I can tell high frame rate, like the difference between thirty and sixty is just super fucking yeah. obvious. Yeah, the stream um, I was watching great. and it was at sixty. They were playing it in the performance, and it was just so smooth and just, just so like, well constructed. <laughs> Well, it just they feel it feels like they streamlined Spider Man twenty eighteen because there was like the you know the the science missions or the stealth missions like it kind of yeah. slowed the pace down. It just felt a little too big. Um, it's really streamlined. And part of the 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 platinum quest is like one regular trophy to beat it in New Game Plus and the story you can three hours like skip the cutscenes and roll. Yeah. So it seems pretty streamlined. I think the main game is like six hours. Um, yeah, it seems about right. It is like cinematic in terms of like it's a blockbuster. Yes, it is. Um, I turned on we. <laughs> Um, but I got the uh, PS5 media remote because I wanted to basically turn the PS5 into the media box as well because yep. we use a Roku right now. And we've had it since 2013. So we're watching our shows or whatever on Roku. And then I th- throw all the accounts onto the PS5 and load up 
whatever show we we're watching. And boy, oh boy, is it crisp and clear. And uh, going back to the Roku, I was like, oh, I didn't realize we weren't maximizing what our TV could do with the Roku from 2013. <laughs> it is really, really crisp. Um, but so I wanted to try something, some game show we were watching, and I wanted to try something on Netflix. And I was flipping through Netflix, and I put on Into the Spider-Verse. And my wife was looking at it while she was looking at her phone. She's like, whoa, this looks really cool. I was like, oh, just wait. <laughs> and then I was like, what? Check out Miles Morales. And I just wanted to see it for a minute. And I ended up playing for about two hours last night instead. Um, it is just smooth. Just such a great showpiece for the fucking, what a great launch game so far. Yeah. Uh, the diversity of launch games like Sackboy and Astros and Miles Morales and Demon Souls. And, yeah. you know, you know put the hall and whatever else. Um, fucking great launch lineup, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um... And it definitely, this is a sad thing in shows, um, it feels like no one's talking about the Series X anymore. Yeah, it's hard because, you know, the hardware does good stuff. Like, I really, yeah. really... No, really and it's it. not a, I don't, this is not a, a a dig at the Series X. I think it's fine, it completely fine hardware. It's great hardware. I it's think it just, new. yeah, that's the problem, is like, the games people are talking about, Demon Souls, Miles Morales, uh, Astros, are the ones I hear the most of are all just PS5 games. There's no other place to play them. So everyone is just talking about them, streaming them on Twitch like crazy. Like Demon yeah. Souls is getting streamed so much. Right. Uh, it was in the top, I think I checked today, it was in the top 10 streamed games. Demon Souls. It's insane. I mean, just the, the hype for PS5, man. But then yeah. the quality of those games. I mean, Demon Souls is a cult classic. And it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a cult classic, and this seems like just an incredibly good version of it. Like it is gorgeous, unbelievably gorgeous, and for uh, some reason, like more. I think we were talking on text. Like it's it's slightly easier to get into, like than Bloodborne. Like I fucking hate the so far at least hate the world of Bloodborne. It just is too creepy, and I don't really like. I'm not super interested in it. But the world here is super engaging me. But then it's also not too punishing so far. Um, I'm sure that gets harder as you go along. Um, so it's a Souls game, obviously, but I feel like the onboarding process is a little less severe than other Souls games that I've tried or dabbled in. And yeah. shout out to our friend Travis who uh, spent what the last month platinuming Dark Souls remastered. And like I'm, I'm not playing Demon Souls. First. I'm gonna do something else. And what is he playing? Demon, Demon Souls. Souls, of course. <laughs> yeah, I still don't think it's a game I'm gonna ever pick up and play. But again, I appreciate it. Uh, Another one. I watched a stream for a couple hours, and like you, I'm like, oh, this onboard, it's it's nicer. It look, seems like it's a pretty uh, smoother experience starting out. Uh, and then they hit the first. I don't even know if it's the first boss, second boss. Phalanx. Yeah, and then just yeah, died. First, first <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right, still a Souls game. <laughs> I spent like two hours on Saturday looking at different like starter tips for demon souls and i was like oh okay that one makes sense everything i did is wrong so i'm gonna restart <laughs> yeah um have you tried the activity cards much no not really so my first couple hours of the ps5 is like oh i don't really understand what those are and whatever uh but then today i wanted to get back to a specific part in astros to start grinding for the trophies and i go down the activity cards and it's like just jump right into this level oh. you're 83 percent complete and i just instead of loading up the game i just went to the activity card hit square and in like three seconds i was in that part of the game Whereas if I had loaded up the game, it's still quick, right? But yeah, it would have taken. Oh, like, that's interesting. Load up the game, and then five seconds to get in. When it was just like go right to the place I wanted to go. I guess um, since so I'm I think playing like, Valhalla, mm -hmm. it doesn't have a bunch of activity cards, which uh, makes yeah. sense. It's a big sprawling open world game. Um, so I think the activity card was like Avor's quest. I was like, "Yep, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing." Right. Exactly. Yeah, I think there's some usefulness to it in terms of like jump right back into this part of the quest. And like, okay, cool, I did that, and it was right there. Um, so it's quick resume in a way. Yeah. Um, but it just, it feels like it's half implemented right now. And I'd like yeah. to see it more. Um, well, I don't know if the, how quick resume will work on the PS five. Like I understand how it's working on the X, the series X. They are mm -hmm. literally saving. They're, they're taking a save state. Yeah. Um, right. they're saving memory to disc and reloading that memory, that, that image of memory when they're starting again, that isn't a trivial thing to implement. And I right. get why PS5 doesn't do it. Um, so maybe one day Sony will do it, but uh, save states are totally a thing. Um, I guess the Switch does it for its online, the old SNES and Nintendo games. But yep. mm -hmm. you have to make consideration of how much disk space it's going to take to have a game in uh, a quick resume state, because it is taking disk space. 
Yes, either that they looked at it and said that's too much, or you know they've had so many things to work on that that was yeah. not one of the priorities. Um, I mean, how, folders are no. Yeah, how much? How many games can you have in quick resume on Xbox? Three or four. Okay, there is a limit though. So they, they definitely are saying that there's a portion of hard drive space that they are reserving for that. I just, I need two because I'm playing it like it's happened several times. I'm playing a single player game and I'm not near like a place where I can save or whatever, which is getting less and less of an issue. Um, but then, you know, like Travis came on and said, let's play uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Okay, cool. I want to hop into that. But I got to go find a fucking save room. Yeah. And it took me five minutes. I was like, because okay, I would rather be able to just pop right out. I don't need three. I would like just two. I guess even just one, right? Like save that one. Um, I think that if it's useful enough, that will come eventually. Just like they said about um, 2K support. Like they targeted TVs, which are either 1080p or 4K. There's not yeah. really a lot of 2K TVs as opposed to monitors. That's true. You know? Yeah. So I think those things will come eventually, but they just, uh, it, I don't think it came in hot, but it came in hotter than I think they wanted for this Yeah. Block. Yeah. The UI, at least. Uh, yeah. Some of those features like that. Um, I don't think they'll ever do themes. No. Just because of how the UI is set up and how each game mm-hmm. is like, like full amazing. screen like mm-hmm. thing, they're not gonna. I'm like, there's no themes here, um, which is interesting. I kind, wish, I kind of wish there were, just because I can control what's seen on the screen. Yeah. Because like the the explore tab, like whatever pops up, pops up. Like today was Fortnite or whatever, and like there's things I don't want my daughter to see. Like we, uh, the Spider Man was loaded up, and she saw Spider Man. Which it wasn't a big deal. Um, it was just him swinging. But she's like, "Who's that Spider Man?" I was like, "Wow, their iconography is really good. If she can know that that person's name is Spider Man without ever having heard that phrase in her life." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but if it was like a battle scene or something like that, like I don't really want her to see that. And obviously that's yeah. on me to like that out. But um, yeah, yeah, um, it was joyful. I mean, Astros is joyful. But to sit there, she sat in my lap. She held the controller. I held my hands over her, and she was just feeling the haptics, just like giggling, like how it felt, how much she loved like Astrobot and how the two sensations together it was it was cool it was a really cool moment that is really neat yeah yeah let's see my son has played a bit on it he we did a, oh that's the thing i actually did the migration um oh you did with the um the yeah Ethernet cord? uh no just over my wi-fi worked fine oh, okay mm-hmm. but it was basically like hey log in it's like do you want to transfer stuff from your ps4 i was like yes i do uh and i transferred all my save games that were on there and a couple games across and it just all worked. And then I did it with my, my son did it on his account and brought his save games over and he's played Minecraft dungeon and no man's sky using it. Oh, nice. And he's definitely, his first thing was like playing Minecraft dungeon with a friend. Uh, he's like, yeah, my friend was taking way longer to load into the levels. Like I was already out running, doing things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, yep. daddy has got a new toy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's way faster. I'm like, yes, it is. Um, so that was, that was amusing, but I will yeah, say that that transfer process is actually incredibly smooth. Like nice. I was I impressed because I uploaded all my saves to, um, you know, cloud storage and then downloaded them on the PS five, but I haven't checked to see if they worked or not. Cause last night I, you know, like I said, went into Witcher three and there was nothing. I was like, shit, where's my, where are my save files? I thought I'd just yeah. be able to access them. In cloud. guess not. No, um, you have to download them. I'm pretty sure. Exactly. So I downloaded them today. I haven't tried anything yet, but I'm yeah. uh, assuming they're all there. Um, but what I did the week before is I just spent time basically because I'm keeping my my pro. Um, everything that's a disc based game is pushed onto the hard drive of the pro, and everything that was digital is onto. I bought a five terabyte hard drive. I was just migrating things from the internal and then my other external on the PS4 over to this five terabyte, and just having five five terabytes is more data than more storage than was on my PS4 Pro plus the external. So it's just a ton of space. And it's just like, I'm just throwing every PS4 game on there. It's just nice to have like at my fingertips, that whole library. Um, and there's just so much space on that fucking thing. It's great. Yeah. But I um, obviously sometimes I want to push them over to the SSD to run them for the yeah. load time. I'm curious what the, the five terabit drives. Uh, I assume it's still a platter five terabyte drive. I mean, that's it on it SSD. Is. So I'm wondering what it's, uh, rpms are those are usually pretty slow on giant drives like that yeah so I've i would ex- sorry, go ahead. i wouldn't expect uh hard drive performance to be great off of it i haven't noticed anything different than like in terms of load times and whatever else than i had on my um, ps4 pro so it doesn't seem slower <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's that wasn't also yeah. pull up my order what the rpms on that one was um but it's nice to have the option like 
okay, that is where my, all my PS4 games are. If I'm actually going to play a PS4 game like for an extended period of time, I'm going to throw it onto the SSD. Uh, yeah. And then when I'm done, throw it back, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't install a ton. I think Valhalla's there, which weirdly is not as big of a game as I was expecting. It seems to be some of these games are smaller on PS5. Yeah, it was like, f- it was like 40. F- yeah, 40, 45 gigs. Right. Um, originally, when it was downloading, it's like, oh, let us install the PS4 and the PS5 version. I was like, no, cancel that PS4 <laughs> version. I don't need that on my disc as well. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, so I I don't think I'll have an issue. with. I'm also not one to install a ton of games. I'm very much will just delete things I'm not playing because I know the save mm. games are still there and I don't. My internet's fast enough. I want to play a game. I can download it again pretty quickly. And that was a great benefit of Valhalla is it had, you only had to download 10 gigs, 13 gigs to start playing it. Oh, nice. So you could go while it was downloading. Oh, yeah. And boy, does the PS5 download things fast. Um, Oh, wow. It's way faster, dude. Yeah. Even not hard lined in when I have it here in my office, just on Wi-Fi. I'm like, yep, you're using my bandwidth. It's great. Um, uh, the streamer I was watching when he got his and was setting up his, uh, he started just downloading a bunch of games and it destroyed his stream. He started dropping a bunch of frames because <laughs> the thing would he's like, oh my god, it's using as much bandwidth as I have. It's just like I will take it all. Um, yeah, I think he was downloading Demon Souls and it was like people were complaining because and he was amazed um, that it would download it that quickly, but it was done very quickly, so he didn't worry about it. Um, so. Uh, I think they figured out their their Wi-Fi problems. Um, yeah, for the time being, oh, fuck slow, man. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Uh, not anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I loaded up that. You know, I didn't want to re-download everything, and now I'm like, well, I probably could have, but it's it's fine. Yeah, I just download as I need. Um, Speaking of uh, nothing that you were saying, but um, the aesthetics of the PS5, like the the release or sorry, the reveal and just the marketing, whatever. I was like, I don't really like the PS5 look, but now that it's in my house, I'm like, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I I I've, do think it looks better vertical, but um, where it is in my entertainment center basically hides it horizontally. Like, so you really only see you don't see the white, really. You just see the black face for the most part. And with the way the lights glow out onto the white, it looks really cool in my entertainment center <laughs> on oh, its side. Okay. Um, but beyond that, like, yeah, it's big. Uh, I moved it to my office today uh, so I could just be playing it uh, tonight without having to be out at the living room. And I pulled it out and I was like, and this and <laughs> turned my wife and I'm like, and this is our new baby, the PS5. Um, <laughs> and because I was holding it like it. It's honestly as heavy as a kid. Um, it's a big, and it's huge. I got a picture of my daughter holding it. I pulled it out of the box, and she's like, uh, "Daddy, take it." <laughs> it's, it's a big. It's big. Um, they're not joking, but it is silent. Like, uh, if you don't have a physical, if you have a physical disc in it, which you don't have the physical disc version, right? No, I have the um, digital, digital, which I apparently I'm one of the few people in the world who bought a digital. I know. And <laughs> I was going to ask, did you actually get a digital? Because, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would have been pretty happy to get the fucking disc, I think. Um, but, I, you know, it's fine. I, I was always keeping my pro. And yeah. I, de- I have a lot of disc games, but I have way more digital. So it's fine. So if you have a disc in the drive, there is disc vibration sound from mm. the that. But if I have no disc in and I'm just playing like Valhalla off of digital, um, I can't even tell the things on. I know. It's, it's I, it was on silent. All day today. And it was just silent. You know, we and I put my hand on. up. I'm like, is the fan running? And you put your hand up to the, the vents on the front. And I can feel the air being pulled in. Um, like, it's moving a lot of air just silent while doing it. Um, you know, I play in headphones a lot. And I usually take, you know, when I'm playing Ghost or whatever. I take my headphones off. And it's like, holy shit, that's loud. Yeah. I take my headphones off. And the five it is whisper silent. I cannot hear it at all. Yep. Uh, which is impressive. Really impressive. Okay. And I get it. They made it big for that reason. So, yeah, my wife was looking at it. She's like, why is that so big? I was like, because 80 percent of it is making sure it's quiet <laughs> fan airflow. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think overall, uh, like I don't it's big. Uh, it's a w- little bit of a weird shape, but uh, I think I overall um, there's a certain quality to it that I, I enjoy visually. Um, there's an weird elegance to a lot of it. Um and just it how it super, curves right. and the way the light, there's a lot of attention to detail in the mm-hmm. design itself. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. Nope. 
Um, I can see the designers wanting to say, you know what? We're not going to make a black box this time. Yep. We tried going <laughs> rounded with PS3. Let's try a different. <laughs> yeah. A, a more different rounded. Um, yeah. So, yeah, overall, it's fine. It fits fine. Stands a little awkward, but whatever. Um, Once on I got it on there. Like, on horizontal, never... it's awkward. Vertical, oh. screwed on. Perfectly fine. No issues. Um, yep. Horizontal, it's just you can it slide it can slide a little bit um because it's not screwed yeah. in or anything yeah i've um, seen that in video i'm just i'm glad that my tv's mounted on the, the wall where it is so i have room on the side because yeah it's mounted in such a way that the ps5 would be in front of the tv yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it was like it would be overlapping the tv you know yeah um i had both the ps4 and the ps5 vertical i was like wow that's my ps4 looks tiny <laughs> yeah bro, and you're just a pro, pro. the triple stack and it's still tiny yeah. compared to the PS5. It, it, exactly. Have you um, unboxed your Series X before shipping it? No, no. I was just wondering if you actually like looked at it like no, physically want, to see like how big is this thing actually? I would love to, but I want my brother to have that new yeah. experience because um, he paid me in full for it. So there you go. I will get one sooner than later, like next year probably. Um, I think that I don't know. I just always have both, I guess. So, but I'm not in any hurry. Um, and just like to share the joy. Because he was so bummed that he was at work. He's like, I was, I was at, I'm at work when shit goes live. How am I supposed to get it? And I was like, well, I got one and um, I'm probably not going to keep it. So, but I know there it's expensive. Go. So if you can't afford it, like that's cool, whatever. And he's like, no, he sent me 300 bucks that night. And he's like, I'll see you the rest later. And did. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, he's pretty sick. But man, the games are on the PS5, man. I can't. They really are. Ratchet and uh, Horizon 2. I mean, I'm yeah. I know a lot of excited for that. Um, and When is Black Ratchet? Uh, it's got to be March. By March. Yeah. I would assume it seems like an Easter-y kind of game. Rift Apart, yeah, 2021. Death Loop next Set to year. release during the launch window. How long do they mm-hmm. consider the launch window? I feel like that's six months, isn't it? Should be, because people aren't going to be able to get a fucking console if they don't have one now for like three months. Maybe less. Yeah, um, yeah, six months seems about right. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah spring March. seems right. I forget what else they're releasing. What else is on their calendar next year? Early next year? Oh, that's a good question. Um... I know Horizons in the summer probably. Ratchet's going to be March probably. What else is there besides Death Loop? Uh, Someone's they, screaming out there. Yeah, radio right now. Headphones. I'm Could sure. I'm trying to look if the. Yep, Demon Souls, Mind Runner, Godfall, Borderlands Three, Astro's Playroom, Sackboy, Fortnite hasn't made it yet. I do have Bug Snacks, but haven't played it. Um, oh yeah, I did redeem that. I, yep. Um, b- 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 I mean, there's right. enough. The, the last me until whatever the next game is obviously but yeah the Pathless too. got that one and i want to get that one eventually trying to see what they say yeah death loop is sometime and they gave a release it's the 21st of yes five games. Uh, what do we got here May. May? third party games launch day oh uh, man oh, finding geez. just finding a list is actually really hard um, yeah, but i'm doing this yeah everything is like here's what the launch day stuff was i'm like i don't care about the launch day i want to know Oh, May twenty first. May twenty first is Deathloop, which is good. oh, Destruction All Stars. That's yeah. gonna be on. That's out. Destruction All Stars is not out. I saw it at Target yesterday. It was. You might have seen a case. They delayed it to February. Oh, yeah, they totally had it in their display case. <laughs> That's funny because it was supposed to be a launch title, <laughs> and then it's not out. So that'd be funny if you could actually buy that and if there was actually something in. It. I don't know. You know I if, mean, you you couldn't see behind if they had actual games behind, like the the display copy. Um, where they hide the stock behind it, but right, right. it was there. <laughs> it was in the. Well, That's they were funny. supposed to be a launch title, and they delayed it like a week and a half before launch. Like it's feasible they would have pressed discs, right? Uh, yeah, it is feasible, and it is feasible that uh, like Target and big box stores would still have it like mm-hmm. promotionally out in the in there, even if they didn't have discs to sell. Like, well, when it's interesting because. I guess if you don't have PS Plus, you have to pay for it. But if you have PS Plus for you know two months in 2021, it'll be free anyways. Yeah, I don't They're want kind of what's free. available at launch. God, um, uh, releasing PS5 in the coming days. Of course, there's like there's Black Ops. Uh, there's Control mm. Ultimate Edition is coming. Rift Apart, Puyo Puyo Tetris, an Odd World Soulstorm is mm. coming out. The Mat uh, Madden's coming out in December. Uh, Immortals, Phoenix Rising, December. Not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I think it's Age mostly. Plan. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I guess Cyberpunk now. 
So, you know. Yeah, right. But you're not playing on a PS5, I assume. Uh, no, I'm going to at this point. Oh, you are? Oh. Yeah, I want the trophies. Yeah, nice. Nice. And it's going to play it just as well as my TV, my uh, PC at the, the moment. So uh, I'm going to play it there. Nice. Um, I do have a PC version coming, though, as well. So, you know. Yeah, I figure that's going to be the game for you, like which was for me where I own five copies. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably own it on. I'll probably just own it on uh, PC and PS5. I don't yeah. see any other place well, that I need to own it. Right, you ain't you. You don't have an Xbox and it ain't coming to the Switch. So. Yeah, that one's not coming to the Switch. Um, <laughs> but definitely, I'm like, oh, I was originally going to be playing that next week, but now I'm not. God Good damn thing, it! In Valhalla now, they need time. That's play. true. Um, I mean, I bet Ubisoft is just like, oh, thank Christ. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Stuff. And man, uh, Watch Dogs had a great release too. Even though I know the critical reception was mixed, like it sold in three days super well. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, again, it tries a lot of things. I sh- it's one I might. I'll probably wait till a sale and pick up and play. I got Soft Plus on the PC, so I'm just gonna dabble just to see. Um, I'm yeah. just gonna have it for a month just to try a few games. Um, I'll be able to hit Immortals too with my month. Nice. Um, so I'll be able to try Assassins, Watch Dogs, and I can figure out which one I want to buy. And so I'm definitely gonna buy. I want to buy um Bahala on PS5. But I'm gonna wait. It seems like two months later, they just have like 50% off on their fucking Ultimate Edition. With Odyssey, I got burned by like buying it full price launch day, and then like a month or whatever, half month and a half later, it was like steep. It's true. It's true. I'm going to wait for that um, because I have so much to play, obviously. Um, I'm really The other thing I, I haven't mentioned is the, the idea that Sackboy, Miles Morales, and Astro, like they're all short experiences. So you can kind of like have that experience and move on. Um, it's I'm, I'm enjoying the shorter games. Um, obviously, Demon Souls is not in that category. But. Or Valhalla, for that fucking matter. Yeah. Brad was texting me tonight. He's like, it's about 60 hours for the main campaign. I know that's like Odyssey, of course, but... Yeah, yeah, and I expect that. Um, yeah, there's something to be said about games that are a little bit shorter and just get you through, get you through and tell a story. Um, yep. Open world games aren't those, for the most part. Um, even though Spider-Man kind of is, but even watching it, it's like, yeah, it's open world, but it's a very constrained, uh, focused open world on Miles Which Morales, is, I should say. Yeah, I mean, compared to... 2018 Spider-Man, where there's just yeah. like a lot of stuff I didn't do, like defeat every hangout and or whatever fucking gang hideout and shit. Um, I would actually expect when you're talking about Valhalla and discounts, I bet it will probably be on sale on Black Friday somewhere. Disc version, though. Yeah, probably. Now I can't. <laughs> that's true. You can't. Um, that's too. That's too bad. I wonder. Do you need the so? If you, let's say you got the disc version of the PS4. You do need it, it for PS5. So. You do still need the disc to play the PS5 version, the upgrade. Mm-hmm. That sucks. It's fine. That's I too bad. I, I buy most of my things digital, so it's fine. I just need to be a bit more patient, which is fine. Let's me yeah. play the things I have. I mean, I bought fucking four launch games. Um, yeah. More than I should have bought. <laughs> um, I bought one. Yeah. Right now. I, because, right. yeah. You only, you only play one at a time. Yeah. I don't want to jump around is the thing. Yeah. I'll just focus I on just the one. To- like see what it, each one looked like you know but yeah. i'm sticking with that just till i platinum it which i'm hoping to do tonight i guess uh, i guess the thing uh, a friend down here was like oh did you get a ps5 you know we're i'm not getting one for a while so, you know, finance and it's not priority and stuff like that and i was like if it, like you could stick with the ps4 for like another probably year or year and a half you know and still have, play most of the experiences yeah i, I think you know. yeah they've said Apple's is- horizon forbidden west will be on ps4 as well um yeah they're they're definitely not wanting to um, just kill the PS4. There's a lot of them out in there, out in the wild. Why would they stop making software for them? I feel like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, or whatever fuck it is, Forbidden West is going to sell better on PS4 than PS5, even though it's next Yeah, like there'll yeah, be, there will be far more PS4s out. Uh, I would expect that you're going to see a big chunk of PS4s being sold for this holiday season, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I would expect I mean, that there's on Black Friday there's going to be some deals on PS4s and PS4 Pros. Yep. Um, Especially as you can access the PS Plus collection on PS4 still, which I didn't they didn't talk about. Really? But you can't. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, so you've got anyone who's jumping in is like, "Oh, I want to check out, you know, an Xbox player or a PC player or whatever." It's like, "I want to check it out. I'll grab a fucking PS4 Slim and I have access to that PS Plus collection." Fucking let's go. Which is pretty Great. much almost every best first party game plus some third right. party. Like made for the PS4, the entire generation. It's really good. I guess the other thing I'm waiting for a price drop on is Last of Us Two, simply because I waited this long. I can wait until it uh, goes on sale, but that's when I w- I was waiting specifically for PS5 to play because of just- yeah, and hope 
They have they have actually added some depth of trigger stuff to that in God of War. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, the, the Leviathan axe and bring it back had um, that DS4 version. I'll have to check that. Oh, out. I, I, I see. Yeah, The Last of Us Two has a four. It runs at four K sixty FPS. Um, right, which is I figured they'd have something, so I just decided to wait because I wasn't. I wanted to play Ghost yeah. instead of that. And so, that's and I'm sure more PS4 games will have some sort of patch like that because it's just what you're basically uncapping. You know, for the frame rate, you're uncapping it, and the, obviously the textures for the four K. Yeah, no, I I can see a number of games and in third party games doing updates over the next year with uh ps5 support basically um free update 4k witcher 3 mm-hmm. yeah like man. native as opposed to checkerboard yeah yeah um man <laughs> it's crazy oh man now that i can see frame rate i can't unsee it anymore <laughs> yeah i mean 60 has always felt better than 30 always yeah um, i just never really noticed but now it's just like goddamn obvious yeah i mean i can i can deal with 30 i mean i've mm-hmm. done it for uh, plenty of time and there will be i'm sure as time goes on with the ps5 games will start coming out that just hold 30 again um because they want to push graphics farther but mm-hmm. ray tracing is really it's cool cr- oh my god it is really cool um yeah switching between it like what's the big the, oh okay i get it yeah it uh i mean it it makes lighting look a lot better and shadows and reflections and all that all that jazz Mm-hmm. I get it now. I'm a believer. Yeah. Um, I guess the last thing is the Pulse 3D headset. I already played on the oh. PS4, but it's great. It's a really nice, solid, hundred-dollar, comfortable headset. Cool. I hear a little bit, but you know, loud and bass. Like it has really good tone. Like the bass and the treble are very separated. It doesn't sound mushy at all. That's cool. And 3D audio, like on Demon Souls specifically, like I knew exactly <laughs> where the person was who was hurling fireballs, and so I just like could whip around as opposed to like, where, where, the, where the fuck are they? So I'm interested to try a, uh, you know, a first-person SPS, FPS uh, multiplayer game to see if I get any better. Probably not. there's always hope. <laughs> well, uh, Fortnite will be there soon. I thought it already was. Did, uh, I did not they, download- did they the re- launch the f- PS5 version? It's kind of hard to tell because um, sometimes I don't know if I have the PS4 or PS5 version. I did download Fortnite, and I thought oh, did- I downloaded a PS5 page of my PS app, which actually, by the way, is fucking great. Um, <laughs> I really like the PS, the, the update to the app. Yeah. PS5 game, Valhalla, Playroom, Borderlands, Bug Snacks, Call of Duty, Deathloop, Demon's Souls, blah, blah, and Fortnite. Fortnite's okay. there listed as PS5. There you go. Yep. Uh, I wonder when Apex is going to get there. I know. I was going to load it up today. I was like, nope, that's the PS4 version. I will wait. Because I would totally play some of that again. They changed their map. It's a whole new map now. Yeah, they have three maps now. Yeah. So uh, I'm curious, but I'm sure that's coming. Now yeah. the thing is, is like, because you know, next year with the Mass Effect trilogy, it's going to be on Switch, and it'll be fine on Switch, but it's probably going to be damn gorgeous on a PS5. I haven't seen that it's coming to Switch. Oh, really? Did they not? They did not list Switch on that. Oh my on god! Isn't I that just, a ass- yes, I just man? assumed it was. <laughs> I was like, no, it's PS4, uh, Xbox, PC, and then they said they'll have some sort of PS5, Xbox Series X enhancement. There is no listing for Switch. Well, never mind then. God damn it. Which seems like a mess. Unless they're going to do it later. Um, it's not in that yeah. initial uh, release. Unless they're working on it and don't want to say anything about it yet. Yeah. What is it? Switch. I just want to Google this real fast just to make sure I'm not talking on my ass. No, it's Will not. Will be released for PS4. Nope, that's an, that's an old rumor. Nope. The the Bioware blog does not miss list Switch at all. Yep. It's not coming to Switch. Holy shit. You know, they're enhancing everything, but god damn it. I wanted that, you know, <laughs> on the go. Although, yeah. I'm not really on the go. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. now anyway so no uh not gonna be on the go for a while so uh and yeah we just heard you know we, we already know you already know that we're you know teaching from home through end of spring semester and now we're told for summer as well and we're probably going to start fall and then transition to face-to-face if we can which means we are not transitioning face-to-face uh, um, it just depends on how that how how if when a vaccine rollout starts happening like yeah major vaccine route ra- rollout which at earliest, general population getting vaccinated for COVID would be early summer. And how long Never. does it take to roll that out to billions of people around the world? Okay. Um, it's not going to be fast. I'll give it that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I-, I can see them being hopeful for the fall. Like, there is at least a glimmer of possibility, but uh, I would probably only give it like 25% shot of actually happening. 
Um, yeah, in my head now it's spring 2022, which is mine. Yeah, <laughs> two years of this. Yep. You know? But if we have to do two years of it to survive it, yeah, I count myself like, and we can stay in and play video games. It's fine. Totally fine. Um, but yeah. Uh... Speaking of video games, by the way, PS Plus Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition is available. So if you have PS Plus, oh, that's true. That I did grab it. I grabbed all the PS Plus stuff. So yeah, I yeah, tried bug snacks eventually. Yeah, I got to do that. <laughs> it's there. Right there. It, looks, it looks fun. There's I wonder how much they paid for that. I wonder too, because that was that was definitely a hyped up like launch. I, people would have bought that, you know, twenty five bucks. Yeah, snatched that. But it, was free. That's it must have been a pretty good, pretty good uh, deal if the studio is willing to do it. Um, yeah. Honestly, in a lot of ways, I bet they actually just say like, "Hey, this is how many sales we expect we were expecting. <laughs> Pay us that much." Right. So. We budgeted for this. Give us that. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of every month here's PS4 games because you can play them on your PS5, and then like once every two months dealy. So they they've got um, Bug Snacks November December, and then they've got Destruction All Stars February March. So then I don't know if they're going to do anything for January or not. Um, but that yeah. kind of cadence. Here's a PS5 game every every two months and then ps4 games every month yeah and i assume as and my assumption is as the years roll on it will switch more to just being more the the cadence of like two ps5 games a month um oh yeah as there's more ps5 games basically right like i can see like the game like the pathless eventually being like a ps plus game yeah um which i still think is close to that (laughs) you have enough games right now exactly that's that's, I've, i've put a kibosh on my wallet I'm done until Valhalla drops in price. Or no, that's not true. I'm buying AOC on Friday. No, oh, that's true. <laughs> Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity. Son of a bitch. God well, damn da- it. My daughter is so excited for that coming. She keeps asking me what's coming out because we're watching the same 12-minute cutscene compilation on YouTube over and over and over again. She wants to know the rest of the story. So I'm going to know the story before I even get very far into the game because we'll have already watched it on YouTube together. That's funny. Man. Do I want to anyway. get that now? Uh, I mean, it'll be there later, you know. I know that's the thing. I'm like, I'm not gonna get a chance to play it, <laughs> right? Or I will have yeah. a chance, but I'll be taking that time away from playing Valhalla um, and trying to finish that. I might wait as well. I'll probably actually wait until I either well, because I'm I, in what? It's only a couple weeks until be three weeks until Cyberpunk. So maybe it will be a post Christmas game. I guess the only reason I'd get it earlier is if I can't find the cutscenes on YouTube. Um, That's true. My, oh man, <laughs> the rest of <laughs> what happens to the Egg Guardian, Daddy? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I have no. I idea. don't know. Uh, but we made it's it not in Breath of the Wild. It must die. There you go. Story's done. Right, because it's never anywhere in there. Yeah. Um, but we did make an Egg Guardian out of two flower pots, duct tape, and some sticks. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, should I, can I sleep with it? Like, no, you're gonna fucking kill yourself with those sticks. <laughs> It's fun being a dad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else yeah. for the podcast? I don't think so. I th- think I'm ready to go play some more Valhalla. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. Platinum Astrobot. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, sounds good. Episode 268. Profit by Games. This is the PS5 episode. Next week, we'll be talking about, well, I don't know, Black Friday something. Right? That's true. Um, stay safe. Stay home. Wear a mask. Stay away from people. All those things. Do the good work because it's fucking crazy. Out there. Yeah, Hang it's out. insane. It's just... Just stay this home. Is, take it easy. Easiest thing game. you have to do. Just We're stay home. Era Expo. Yeah, pretty much. All right, folks. See you later. Later.